Police will summon the 47 Malaysians who were previously detained in a Cambodian prison. Deputy Inspector General of Police Tan Sri Noor Rashid Ibrahim said the move was to enable the authorities to get a more detailed picture on the syndicate behind the incident. Mereka-mereka yang terlibat ini dibawa masuk ke sana. Apa yang dijanjikan oleh apa ni company atau syarikat yang menawarkan perkhidmatan kepada mereka. So kita nak tengok sama ada wujud atau atau tidak unsur-unsur seperti penipuan. Police were not discounting the possibility that the syndicate's role in Malaysia was to hire workers and that it may have connections in Cambodia. Earlier, police identified several locals suspected to be involved with an employment scam syndicate which led to the 47 Malaysians being detained in Cambodia from December 11th last year. Initial investigations found victims were enticed to work in the hotel industry, industry in Cambodia with monthly salaries between 4,800 and 6,000 ringgit. The victims were then told to pay a processing fee between 800 and 1,200 ringgit with the money to be deposited into the bank account of a local individual.